Back to Cowboy. Grey Wolf was a Chiricahua Apache medicine man who had led a war party in revenge for a massacre against his people. The U.S. Army had attacked his tribe during his daughter's sacred sunrise ceremony. And the slaughter was unspeakable. I understood his anger, as there's nothing more traumatic than seeing those you love die in a cruel and painful death. Right from the beginning, I couldn't shake the feeling that Grey Wolf was watching my every move. He let He's a man heal the patch. He's a furry. He has to die now. They saw me before I saw them. Fuckers. And it crossed my mind that maybe this wasn't such a good idea. But now that the shooting has started, I can no back them down. Fuck. All them. There. Just one guy and he managed to fucking kill me, fuck. Ow. I don't want the sawed off. But I'll take the ranger. It was rugged country, the winter home of the Cherokees, and that's why they had retreated. Oh. Ow, what? How did that fucking mess? I swear to God, the aim in this game is bullshit. I admit that. See him. A deep crevice that Weird. led to a deeper cave. Don't tell me you did that. Yeah, but it's not out of bravery so much as pure angry cussedness. Yeah, totally not gonna get ambushed in here. Lefty goes left. <gasps> oh, rock. I love when my vision decides to get blurry because I get shot. It's bullshit. I wonder if there's a way to move it. Oh shit. Is he in the trees? Oh, he's not. Sound like Western music. Okay. How was his cave? Big as hell, Ben. Chiricahua had hit out here during the Indian Wars. Ow. How the fuck? It was haunted with dead Indian ghosts. What the fuck? To be honest, 
I was more concerned with the live ones than the dead ones. Leave me angry now. I'm using two guns. Shit! Wasn't even worried. I'm gonna find a find fight a boss in here. I just I came to... upon this flooded grotto, and that's when I saw him. <clears throat> he came to me unarmed and unafraid. His voice echoed in the shadows, and I sensed he meant me no harm. You carry great darkness in your heart, and if you do not release it, it will claim your soul. The sound of his voice put some kind of ancient Indian spell on me. Pretty sure he's just telling you to chill the fuck out. You will come to this place again and kill many more men, and the darkness will grow until it consumes everything that you are. The soul would have no rainbow if the eye had no tears. He said I was a great warrior, a coyote man, unequaled by any other pale faced warrior. Something like that. The snakes will bite shadows of your past until a venom poisons your. I didn't quite get what he was saying, but there was definitely snakes. And indeed, his warriors surrounded me and attacked me like hungry wolverine. Ow. They couldn't stop me though, and Grey Wolf wasn't in the mood for idle talk. Wait a minute. Okay. Ow. <laughs> God, I got a fast reload. I swear I couldn't see any way out of this trap. But suddenly one just appeared. Oh. Kinda like a mirror. I found myself back outside, perched on the edge of a precipice, overlooking a thundering white water river. To get where I was going required several leaps of faith, but no way in hell I was turning back. I chased after him, determined like that, to make him explain the meaning of all that mumbo jumbo. Mumbo jumbo is right. Are you making this all up as you go? Where'd he go? A few details may be fuzzy, <laughs> but I am dozens, but there was a lot of At least three or four. Well, more than that, little lady. Hang on. Don't do that. That wasn't the smartest move. That also wasn't the smartest move. Freak ahead of me and scrambled up those rocks like a mountain goat. I was determined to locate Grey Wolf and find out exactly what the hell he was trying to tell me. Chill the Wouldn't fuck out. You know it. That crafty son of a bitch led me right into a trap. What kind of trap? Well, son, there had to be at least a hundred Apaches surrounding me. A hundred? God be my witness. Oh, come on. Who are you kidding? Don't do that. Don't do that.
in the end, a path appeared before me that I had not seen before. <clears throat> I followed it as I okay. desperately needed to find out what Grey Wolf was trying to tell me. Do you mean out in that? Okay. But it was like that some of bitch disappeared into thin air. He's a furry! Did they exaggerate your part in taking down the Daltons? <clears throat> well, I was there in the flesh, boy, so I saw what happened firsthand. Hmm. This would be interesting. Fighting on the side of the right. I did my best, sir. We all did. My plan is him now? It was early morning. One of my friends was a local gunsmith, and he handed out firearms to anybody who'd take one. You see, the Daltons got it in their heads to rob two banks at the same time. Two banks on the same damn street. The story was Bob Dalton's girl was always riding him about how he had no ambition. Oh, you're nobody next to Jesse James, she'd say. Finally, the bastard took his brothers to Copperville just to shut her up. And their first mistake was pulling a job in their own damn hometown. I mean, it, this could be smart because they know which, which ways to go. Here. Unless they didn't memorize their fucking shortcuts, then they're fucking stupid. Open your. The brothers pay dearly for their stupidity, but everybody knows they had it coming. There's more to it than that. I read all about that day, so I know for a fact that it went down very differently. Get ready, boys. They're gonna make a move. The raw men had been tracking the Daltons for months, and now they finally had them dead to rights. Among them was a bounty hunter feared by men in the lawbreaker. Yeah. Tried to get the Daltons to surrender. They'll give up eventually. We just gotta wait for some bitches out. This bounty hunter knew that the brothers were far too proud to ever lay down their guns. He went in there alone to confront those criminals. One of the marshals shouted, Where are you going? Are you crazy? Hey, where do you think you're going, dumbass? That rifle's mine. But he paid him no mind. He saw a way to get around to the back of the bank. No, what the hell? Coming in. We've got company. Oh. Heroic men like him, who did what other men couldn't or wouldn't to make this country free. Jim Bowie and Davy Crockett, who died defending the Alamo. Is that Silas Green? Son of a bitch! <laughs> the rude warrior now. Brother, I'm gonna make you think. <laughs> and you guys right here? Yep. My brain do good. Oh, Over there! Okay, the fucking gun thing got in the way. That's not my fault. Over there! That Silas Green! What the hell? He came away victorious, taking down those thieving Daltons. His name was Silas Greaves, <laughs> and when the dust finally settled, he was the last man standing. I feel like there's still more. Sorry, kid, but that just wasn't the way it happened. Yep, yep. We're, we're in the stress. Get out of there. I was late to the party, and Coffeeville was already up in arms. Those pathetic deputies surrounding the bank were dropping like flies. Oh boy. Leader, lover. 
I had been tracking those jokers for months, waiting for them to do something reckless. And finally, they did. Those stupid bastards decided to rob two banks. Where are you running? Why are you running? Those friends came after me like a pack of wild dogs. Tooth and nail. They were coming at me from all directions. I caught sight of the Daltons running with the money and didn't want to lose it. Oh, you're a Problem was, they knew the town better than I did. And to top it off, I found myself in the I middle swear of to God, I am hitting this fucking guy. Did the Daltons talk? Those two families have been fooled forever. And since the Jones were related to the Browns, they shot at the Smiths. Pissing off the Heimhoffers, whose daughter recently married a Smith. Well, Bullets were flying every which way as all the old feuds in Kansas caught fire all at once. There was a hell of a lot of pissed off people in Coffeeville that day. But that's just the way life is sometimes. Shit happens. Those Daltons weren't the sharpest knives in the drawer, but they always stood together. They set a trap to slow me down and allow at least two of them to escape. The third brother stayed behind to plan me, just in case that trap of theirs didn't work. Happy Lucy. He decided to stand his ground and face me down. I ain't afraid of you, Silas Reeves. This is where it ends for you. He was determined to protect his brothers. I understood how he felt. Taking me on all by his lonesome wasn't exactly a recipe for a long life. Oh god. Ow! Stop it! Stop it! But Emmett Dalton survived the robbery in Coffeeville. He's the only Dalton who did. They say he was shot 23 times. Well, Dwight, who do you think put all those damn holes? Tell you one thing, it wasn't 23. <laughs>